How do microwaves cook your food? If you stand in front of a microwave, are you gonna get cancer? Are they killing you? What's up? Howdy cookers, thanks for watching D News. I'm Trace. This morning, I was talking to our intern, Tori, about how I microwaved a cup of coffee from yesterday, which I know that's, that's gross, but it's so easy. Microwaves are magic food boxes. They heat food in less time with less energy than traditional methods, but how they make that thing hotter is a mystery to many of its users. The microwave has roots in radar research during World War II. Scientist Percy Spencer accidentally melted a candy bar in his pocket, and after some experimentation, he patented the first microwave heating device. Microwaves are basically metal boxes containing a magnetron gun. The magnetron uses electricity to excite electrons and get them to vibrate and release waves of non-ionized electromagnetic energy. This radiation is at a frequency that's between radio waves and infrared light, usually around 2.45 gigahertz. This microwave radiation is no different from the radiation created by a radio station or a Wi-Fi network. So don't get too weirded out by that. The literal microwaves are made of alternating current and magnetic fields. Because it's alternating, it means they're switching from clockwise to counterclockwise back and forth. These electromagnetic waves shoot from the magnetron into the oven, passing through paper, plastic, and glass to hit the water, fat, and sugar molecules in your cup of coffee or your frozen burrito or whatever. Scientists aren't exactly sure what happens at this point. Either the waves cause the H2O molecules to agitate and generate heat, or the fats, sugars, and water absorb that energy and release it as heat. Either way, when the magnetron energy hits, heat is created. And a minute or so later, yesterday's coffee is as good as, well, yesterday's coffee only hotter. Because the microwave is just heating water, fat, and sugar, if that's not evenly distributed throughout your burrito, it won't heat very well. Cold patches, ugh. Also, setting it too hot too fast will only mess up the process because the heat has to travel into the food by conduction. That is, one molecule on the edge spreads heat to the next, and then the next, and the next, and so on into the food. What a pain in the butt that is. My mom used to tell me, if you want children someday, don't stand too close to the microwave which isn't really true. And I don't know why my mom sounds like a bad Marge Simpson impression. This microwave radiation isn't nearly as strong as an X-ray or as common as Wi-Fi cell phones, televisions, or other electromagnetic waves that are flying around. Studies have found that low-level microwave exposure shouldn't cause the corruption of DNA that results in cancer. And looking into the microwave with your eyes right into the window there, that's fine because it's shielded so your sensitive eyeballs won't be affected. Metal in the microwave isn't inherently bad either. After all, the walls are made of it because it reflects the waves around heating as much of the food as possible. However, throwing something pointy like aluminum foil or a fork can cause sparks and breakdown of air molecules into more dangerous fumes, so don't do that. The sleeves that come with some pastries are also for reflecting those waves because as the outside of the food heats up, that heat energy is reflected back at the crust, crisping it up. It's basically cooking itself. Whether microwaving is damaging your food is still being debated by science. But for the most part, any cooking damages the nutrient content of raw food. But cooking it also kills bacteria, which makes food safer. Yes, a few older studies found breast milk heated in a microwave lost some of its vitamin B12 potency, but many other studies have found no such evidence of any damage. And many studies on microwaves have determined that there is little or no difference between microwaving and conventional cooking. Ultimately, the most dangerous things microwaves produce are food burns from overheating the thing you put in the microwave. And that's actually just your fault. The FDA says microwaving food is just as safe and nutritious as any other method of cooking. But what do you think? Are you nervous about microwaves? Do you microwave your food? Speak your mind down in the comments and come back every day for more D News. Microwaves are also produced in space. And on Wednesday, August 27th, we're doing our next monthly space out with NASA JPL. This month, we're talking about Europa, the possibility of life there, and the future missions to Jupiter's most intriguing moon. It's super cool. RSVP with the link in the description down below and post a question so that we can ask the experts. Thanks for watching D News.